Uh, hello everyone and welcome to another uh, story time with Loki and I'm here with Zenron again. Hello. Yeah, there you go. I was so waiting. I think we're lagging a bit, so. Yep. There. Uh, hello, individuals. Yes. Hello. Uh, a lot of people liked the last one that we did off off the cuff out of nowhere. So. Uh, I said if they wanted more, they should say so, and they said yes, do another one. So here we go. Here's another one, another good old story time to go fill up with stuff. Uh, sound good, Zen? I don't this... know how you're gonna top the other. Well, like, what's yeah. your plan? How are you gonna? I actually stop don't that? know. Because I think there's also going to be an established thing of that they all have to do with fast food restaurants, and not all of them would be, but. Uh, this one at least is kind of uh, related because I said at uh, at the other one that I would mention it and then I completely forgot about it. So we'll talk about this one for right now uh, to give some background for it. So let's start. Um, so the best way I can lead up to it is that I used to go for people who don't know. Now I'm doing a full just background thing. I used to go to college. I won't say the name of the college. Uh because I'm afraid that if I give out the name of it... It was a college. It was a college. Also, I can't say the name of it for other reasons that I'll probably have to say for another day, but there's a very good reason why I don't want to say the name of it. Uh, I, I would be afraid that they would right. come after me for damages done to the building of the school. Anyway. Uh, oh. So, when I went to college... That... <laughs> Yeah, save that for another episode, trust me. That one's a much more complicated one. But So to start this one, when I went to college, uh, for, those, for people who don't know, I live in California, and my college was in Koreatown. It's in L.A. So I had to take a subway and bus system there, and for the first 18 years of my life, I was super sheltered, so I never actually left to go anywhere. So I had never... So we had to actually take, like, a family trip to L.A. to get me to understand, like, okay, so you know that these are the bus stops. This is how you go, and this is where your school is. You have to you have to go take this bus to go to the subway, and then take the subway, and then you'll be able to go to school. And I was like, okay, that's fine and good and all, but what about all the stories I heard about L.A. where you get easily stabbed? <laughs> what about that part? <laughs> it's like, well... You'll figure it out. Just have fun. <laughs> Good luck in college. And I said, all right, I'm off. And thankfully enough, on my first day of college, a, I found out that one of my friends from high school applied to the exact same college as me, and we did not tell each other that we had applied to the same college. <laughs> so we showed up at the same day for the same uh, art major, which was I went in for animation, and he also went in for animation. So I walked into the class, and I saw his face, and I was like, didn't I don't don't I know you from high school and he goes I had no idea that you would be coming here so we ended up becoming closer <laughs> friends because of that and he actually lived in LA so he knew all the places in LA to go to and he knew the bus system and he knew basically where to go because he was he actually lived there and he had to take a commute to the the actual high school that we went to so I said all right cool so wherever you say we go I'll trust you on this uh, I would later learn to regret that for the entirety of my college years spent Sounds there. Sounds like a mistake. It's a big mistake. So, okay, that's the basic setup. And there was two other friends with us. But the important thing to know is that I had a friend in L.A. and I trusted him to where to go. So one day we had a field trip of sorts to the LACMA Museum, which is the Los Angeles something. I forget the, the exact. It's a museum of sorts. So from the bus ride to the LACMA from our school, it only took about, mm, I'll say like maybe 10 minutes by bus ride. So we hop on the bus, we get to the LACMA, we're done with the LACMA. We spent basically uh, in one entire like school, se not school semester, but one entire day in class inside the LACMA. So at the end of it, our teachers basically said, all right, you're free to go. Just make sure to make it back to your class in time. <laughs> So our next class was in about uh, 30 minutes. So we were like, okay, we got some time and I'm really hungry because I didn't eat any breakfast. I didn't eat anything. I want to get some food. And I, talked to, I said to my friend, do you know where we can get food around here? Do you know any place that's close? And he said, oh yeah, there's a Burger King really close by. 
And I said, all right, do we hop on the bus and go to it? And he's like, no, we can walk there. It's not that far away. And I said, all right. And I also, I have to remind people, just like last story, I wear a giant sweater all the time. <laughs> so I have a big bulky sweater on. And it's also uh, around the same time. It's summertime. So the sun is out and it's about 100 degrees outside. And I said, okay, if it's not actually that far of a walk, then we'll go to it. He's like, all right, let's head on out then. We start walking in about 10 minutes past, and I say, shouldn't we be by the Burger King by now? <laughs> we're, already, uh, we're already passing the tar pits, and I feel like if we had gone any farther, then this would have really sucked. I thought this place was close by. I said, no, don't worry about it. Now, this is the part where I'm going to tell everyone where the Burger King actually was. The Burger King that he said was close by was actually four miles away. And by walking, it takes an hour to get there. <laughs> so, for the next hour, we are walking to this Burger King. And I did not know. And as more time sl slowly goes by, I start to realize I've made a huge mistake. <laughs> Everything about this is bad. <laughs> about the 20 minute mark, I have to tell him, okay, we have to stop. Because literally, I'm dying, and I need to stop. <laughs> I need to stop walking. Can we stop walking for a bit? Um, so we have to take multiple breaks. Around the 40-minute mark, I see a jack-in-the-box. And I tell my friend, can we just go to the jack-in-the-box? It's right there. <laughs> I feel like at this point, we should just give up, right? A food is food. And he looks me in the eye and says... We just walked 40 minutes to get to this Burger King. We're not about to stop and go to Jack in the Box and not fulfill our mission. And I go, fuck you. What do you mean we're not going to just stop? And so he keeps on walking. And I also should say, again, because it's LA, I actually can't stop because I actually don't know how to get back to school at all. And even now, as I'm telling you this and I have to think back to this story, I'm actually sweating. Because I'm remembering the horrible heat that I was in. The sheer horror of it. Yeah. Also, all my sweaters are black, which is the worst color to be out wearing in the sun. Because <laughs> it absorbs all the heat. Um, so then it finally gets to about the 50 minute mark. And I go, I should... I feel like you're lying to me. There's no Burger King. I'm pretty sure this was actually some kind of plot that you've made to kill me. Because there's no way in hell that anyone would do this. And he goes, you really need to stop complaining. Because I'm telling you right now, the Burger King's right there. And he's been telling me this every 10 minutes for every single time I've ever brought up that the fact that there's a Burger King nearby. Also, by this point, uh, I'm dripping in sweat. I feel like I've lost an entire pound <laughs> just by walking in this heat. I've also started to lose my mind because we also didn't bring any water. So I've been walking for about 15 minutes with no water in the heat. I'm extremely like dehydrated. I'm everything bad. It's everything. Everything is going extremely bad for me. And finally, at the around 55 minutes, I see that there's a Burger King up ahead. And when I see the Burger King, my friend looks at me and he goes, see, I told you it was close by. <laughs> <laughs> and, and finally, we we make the final five minutes. We enter the Burger King. And this poor Burger King employee was this nice lady. All she sees is that the door, I fucking swing it open. And then the next thing I do is I toss my sweater into one of the seats. I just chuck it like as if I'm Iron Man in the desert. And I've just lost the ability to use my suit. <laughs> And I'm dying so horribly. And then also, this is the part where all the other friends that we had been with, he had been keeping up a face because he didn't want to admit that we should have just used the bus or something. Um, but everyone is basically tired. Everyone's not ordering anything. And then finally, when we go to order, I'm ordering to this poor Burger King employee, drenched in sweat, just going. <sighs> she goes, uh, are you OK? I'm like, fine. Can I have a double cheeseburger playing with just cheese? And she goes, okay, is there anything else? I'm like, I'm pretty sure I want a combo with a drink in it as well. 
And the only reason that we went to Burger King is because at that time, Burger King was having a deal that was like double cheeseburgers only for a dollar. So we went on a huge kick of just doing nothing but eating Burger King because it was super cheap, <laughs> relatively speaking, compared to how much Burger King usually costs. Um, so at this point, we spend like, I want to say a good 45 minutes in this Burger King. Uh, just basically because we were trying to recruit from the fact that we just walked the entire way there. Uh, and here's the other thing. We have to go back to school. We were supposed to be in school 30 minutes ago. Because <laughs> we only had a 30 minute break. So now we're super fucking late. And for no real reason other than someone decided that there was a Burger King close by and we walked the entire way. So I tell him, okay, I'm like, uh, okay, so how close is the school by here? And he says... Oh, it's real close by. We can just walk over there. And I said, fuck you. We're not, I'm not believing you with this anymore. Not today. We're just going to tell me where the, what bus we have to take. He's like, it's going to take longer if we wait for the bus. I'm like, that's not true. And you know for a fact that that's not true. Just tell me what the fucking bus we need to take, and I'll pay the 150 or whatever the hell I need to pay, and we'll go over there. He's like, all right, fine. So we eat their food. We go over there. We take the bus. The bus ride is literally like five minutes because... The place that he actually... So here's the fucked up thing that I realized now when I was looking this up to see how bad it was. We went backwards. The bus didn't take us forwards to go to the school. The, the fucking route that my friend took me on was further away than where the fucking school was. <laughs> and so we finally land uh, back at school. We quickly rush to our room. We're still super fucking sweaty from the fucking trip that we had, even though we took literally like 45 minutes in that Burger King just to chill. It does not change the fact that we look like we died. And our teacher is currently teaching a class, and he sees all three of us, uh, not three, four of us as we walk in. And he goes, where the hell were you guys? Like, class started an hour and 45 minutes ago. And I said, we went to Burger King. It was real close by. I was like, all right, fine. You still need to do this project and don't show up late to class again. And then later on, we actually would totally uh, still show up late to class. I think that we did that multiple times to that teacher from now what I remember. I think there was one point where he said, okay, everyone, take a 15-minute break because usually our classes were four hours long. So one time we had a break. He's like, all right, 15 minutes. And I said to my friend, all right, let's go get food. And we showed back up two hours later. And our teacher looked at us, and there was another case of, like, you guys can't just show up two hours later into a class that's already started. Like, where the hell were you guys? 15 minutes means 15 minutes. And we're like, well, uh, you're probably right on that one. But, <laughs> you know, that's bad on us. But also, we had a lot of good times just spending our times inside that Burger King. And I cannot tell you why we would, who in the world would want to spend two hours inside a Burger King. But college was a weird time a lot of me. time at Burger King. Thing. I just realized now that I spent a lot of time inside Burger King itself. To be fair, I've gone to a lot of places. It's just that Burger King is just, it's a its a through line to the last time that I went there. So yeah, that was, um, that was not the, that, you'd think after that I would never trust him again. That, that's not true. I constantly trusted my friend to take me places and I just took his word for it. Bad call. Yeah. There was another time where, so just to show you how motivated by food we were, this is related because it's uh, to my friend. One time my friend said to us, um, it was during a period we were about to go to another class, so we had a good 30 minutes. And he said to me, hey, you know what I'm in the mood for? And I'm like, what? I want some bomb ass tacos. And I'm like, bomb ass tacos sound really good because you just said bomb ass in front of tacos. So I'm kind of down for some bomb ass tacos. <laughs> He's like, oh, if we take the subway, I know a way to get some bomb-ass tacos. I swear, they're some of the best tacos you can find in L.A. And I'm like, really? All right, then, let's go. I trust you on this. I have my pass. I can freely go wherever the hell we want. So let's go. So I'm like, all right, we get on the subway. We start our way there. And then as soon as we get off on the stop, my friend goes, oh, by the way, don't look anybody in the eye. And I'm like, what? It's like, yeah, this actually is an extremely bad place, so don't don't try and start anything with anyone, because uh, fights kind of happen randomly. So don't, you know, don't just be cool. Don't try and fuck with anyone; they won't fuck with you. And at this point, I should mention again, I'm extremely sheltered. I'm not really that good in LA, 
And so we get off, and I'm like, this better be some of the most bomb-ass tacos you've ever talked about, because I swear to God, if I die for these tacos, I will never stop haunting you. And as we walk to there, oh, another friend of ours that are in there that, uh, I guess the best, I'll call him G for the time being. These are none of the people that are in the Mew Mew Force, just to let you know. I later met the Mew Mew Force, like, two years later inside that college. But I had another friend called G who had a lot of problems with the law, I think is the best way to describe it. Uh, cause there would be times where a semester would start and we'd go like, where's G? He's like, oh, he's probably in prison or something. Two weeks would pass, he'd show up, he's like, hey guy, where, where you been? He's like, oh, I got locked up. I, I violated my parole. And I'm like, oh, you actually were in prison? We've been making jokes about that you were in prison. <laughs> you were actually in prison, cool, cool. Uh, okay. So we're walking over there and G, I'm doing exactly what he tells me. I'm looking down, I'm looking at my feet to the detriment of everybody because I'm also not 100% sure where I'm going. So I'm trying to follow my friend. As we're walking there, we're halfway there when uh, some guy starts yelling at us for some reason. And then my friend G was like, what the fuck you gonna do about it? And I was like, oh please, for the love of God, don't start a random fucking fight in the middle of the street. <laughs> I don't want to die because you've literally some guy just like accidentally bumped into you and this is it's like a boondocks moment this is not how i want to die <laughs> so eventually i think my friend was able to calm him down he's like hey it's not he's not fucking worth it let's go we need to get these tacos <laughs> he takes us to the taco place we finally make it i feel like i've literally uh it's also funny because there are parts of LA that look extremely nice. This is not one of those parts of LA that look extremely nice. It looked it exactly like you would imagine from one of those movies that show the ghetto. <laughs> so it was super fucking ghetto. And even when we got to the taco place, there were pigeons everywhere. Just kind of hanging out. <laughs> I couldn't explain. Pigeons? Yeah, pigeons. Just pigeons were inside the store eating stuff. None of the food. There was just like stuff on the ground. But anyway... We go over there, we get the tacos, and they were actually extremely good. There were some really good-ass tacos. That's the one thing I will say about it. When he promised me bomb-ass tacos, they were actually extremely bomb-ass tacos. <laughs> so he delivered on the bomb-ass tacos. And I said, all right, it's time to head on back to class. And it actually didn't take very long. And I think later on, another day, he was like, you want to go back for some tacos? I'm like, mm, I'm not willing to die for tacos today, so we're never going back there. I'm never going. If you ever if you ever try and fucking take me someplace and you don't tell me whether or not if there's some like weird shit going on uh, between people, then we're not going to go. I need a full disclosure on every place that we go on. No more blind faithing uh, what you think is nearby. He's like, all right, whatever. If you want to be that way, be that way. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was a. Uh, those are some uh, some of my college food stories right there. Um, hopefully that makes a lot more sense, especially since I'm still trying to figure out the best way to tell stories. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah. So join us next time as I, you know what, I'll tell you next time, since now I'm going to just start teasing other stories instead of other stories. You'll find out that thing I talked about, the the property damage, and you'll learn a little bit more about G as well. Uh, because we did a lot of dumb shit. I'll say that for, maybe it was because I was so sheltered, I started doing dumb shit in college. And then finally there was a point where the dumbest shit happened. And I, it literally was like, well... I feel like I'm about to get expelled. And if I don't get expelled, then I feel like this is the end then. That, be, that That's my sign from God to say, this stops. <laughs> Nothing else happens from this point on. This ends now. Oh. Exactly. I hung up my spurs like a cowboy and said, no more. <laughs> but uh, join us next time for that one. Why don't, you, why don't you say? Thank you for sticking around and hearing the stories now. Also, I'm still surprised about the positive stuff that came out from that first one so hopefully this one's good too <laughs> i don't know it's hard to, hard to hate on a story about a, a random like guy, guy that it's insane it's true and we'll keep trying to tell stories and hopefully you like them i have no problem with just telling stories it's a lot easier than playing dokkan and also trying to tell a story yeah definitely 
Definitely. Also, I get to learn a lot about your about your lore. Oh yeah, you'll get to learn a lot. There's a lot of stuff that's eventually gonna slowly unravel where you go. That you've lived a very strange life. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, nothing wrong with that. That's how it should be. Exactly. So join us next time for another book. I also should say, um, because last last uh, the last episode of this. The cover art was drawn by my good Mew Mew Force friend Jace, and this one is being done by uh, uh, Captain Ginyu. And I gave him the instructions of, can you draw a whooper dying in the heat? And then he sent me a message saying, I've never felt more sad drawing this. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully it comes out good, but I want to thank both of them for actually providing a cover art for it. And then... Again, I'll see you guys in the next one. How about that? Goodbye, everyone. Bye, guys.